mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Acts chapter 2, verse 22. I want to remind you that Jesus is a gift to all of us. He is in your heart. If you are wondering that who will help me, who will stand for me, he has been credited into your account. And that account is your heart. He was credited to come and perform miracles, signs, and wonders for you and me. This name Jesus was not, you know, came to this life the way you know you receive your name. No, that name is miracle. That name is wonder. It's healing. I will, I will let you know this because when you pray, you mention Jesus ten times and you, you see nothing coming on the way, you start thinking at He is inside your heart. Listen to verse 22. Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him. As you yourself know, 23, this man was handed over to you by God's deliberate, by God's deliberate plan and for the knowledge. And you with the help of wicked men, you put him to death by kneeling him to the cross. 24. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 so that you get the full uh, answers. But let me just say one or two things as the spirit leads. This is an apostle reminding his fellow brothers. He said, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you. So Jesus did not follow the earth, the land where you are standing. No. He was accredited to you. According to my own understanding, it's like a money deposited in your account. And that account, you are the only signatory, or you are the only one who knows the pin. If you cannot remember your pin, or if you fail to sign properly according to the signature that you took to the bank, you may end up not withdraw that money in that account. You keep on borrowing, and the money is there in the account. You keep on complaining. I don't know what has happened. Eh, but you don't think I'm saying that bank in Awale cannot tell you. The money is credited in your account, and you have seen the message. Twenty thousand has been credited in your account. Of course, you can buy whatever you want. There is no need for you to say there is no milli meal. 
There is no salad, no transport, no fuel. The money is there in the account. Just carry the ATM card. You can walk in, in any shop. Shop like pick and pay filling station. You go and swipe. They will put fuel in your account. But if you cannot remember your pin, that is where the problem is. Jesus was credited for you, not for anything. Only you, human being. He was sent direct to your heart. So that your heart could not lack anything. When I say lack anything, I mean whether spiritual or physical, whether it is these essential commodities that you need. Because Jesus is in you. He will provide. Is it sickness? He will heal you. Whatever problem, he has been credited by God to you. By miracles, wonders, and signs. What is impossible with you, your mom and your dad, because Jesus is a miracle worker and he has been credited to you, your life will be full of miracles. Your life will be full of signs and wonders. Am I communicating to you, people of God? When Jesus is credited to you, this is why I give you this example, because I know that money, everyone will understand the language of money. When money is in your account, are you going to uh, say, I don't know how to use money? Eh? No. Everyone knows how to spend money. But how to make money, that's where the problem is. He has been credited into that account. And the only person who can use that account is you. No one. What does it mean? In the body of Christ, I mean the life of Jesus, there is a portion for each and every one of us. Because the name Jesus is miracle. The name Jesus is signs and wonders. Purposely for you, not for anyone. See the way we are searching miracles. Even me, when I'm praying, sometimes I sit down, I wonder, I said, ah, but this man is a miracle worker. I remember very well when he, this, you know, one from uh, Ethiopia, who was a high profile, under the, 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 the palace of the queen of, of, of Ethiopia. He was reading the Bible, talking about, you know, Jesus. And he, the man could not understand what he was saying. Then the Bible says that the Spirit of God instructed the few to say, go near to that, you know, brother, and listen to what is happening. Then Philip walked very close to the man, and the man was reading very loud. The Bible says that the Spirit of God pushed to him. And he listened, then he asked the man, do you understand what you are leading? The man said, how will I understand this? As long as there's no one to, uh, to interpret to me, I cannot understand this. Then the man allowed Philip to jump into that, you know, I don't know if it is scotch color or a chariot, whatever you call it. He was sitting very close to him. He started now explaining everything. Because the name Jesus, you know, when Jesus comes upon your life, you become a wonder. Not someone who is wandering. The signs and wonders will be upon your life. He started explaining, teaching the man. The man said, oh, as they were progressing, he saw water. He said, I think you baptized me here. I can see water. I believe in Jesus. What can make a king, a rich woman, a rich man, to respect you as a child of God? It is not because of where you are coming from. No. It is because you are calling signs and the, there is no need for you to force anyone to believe in you. It is the signs and wonders. You remember that sorcerer who was performing 
fake miracles, deceiving people. Everyone was, you know, afraid of him. But when the apostles entered that place, including few, the man accepted Jesus. And when Peter joined the disciples to lay hands on the believers so that they could believe the Holy Spirit, indeed, the Spirit of God came upon every believer. And the man said, please, here is money. Can you give me that power so that me too, anyone where I'll put my hand, you will receive what? Power. Then Peter said, to hell with your money. To hell with what? Your money. If this man could, you know, produce money to buy anything, and you go and approach him about Jesus without the signs and wonders, the man cannot believe in what you are saying. But I don't want to take you far. Just take note of this. Jesus was accredited to your heart, to your life, so that you can purchase anything that you want to use in life. So you need to use your faith now. You believe in him. Because he's already here. He's not there, he's here. This man was handed over to you by God's deliberate plan and for the knowledge. Hmm. And you know, with the help of wicked men, you put him to death by kneeling him to the cross. There are situations that can, you know, bring you down as a human being. Evil things can, you know, gang up. And they start fighting your life. Their intention is to stop your life. Is to limit your life. And the only help they need to bring you down is your weakness. Satan cannot operate through your body without your weakness. If you don't know this. The perfect of life comes from Jesus. So as long as this account is not active, you are living a life of what? Doubt. Because you are not perfect. The only weapon Satan can use to bring you down is your weakness. They knew him on the cross because of the weakness of what? The flesh. Because before Jesus, it was seen all over from the head to your feet. He came and appeared as a human being. So that this sin power will no longer be active in you. He was accredited into your account. He entered you and wear this body. And they killed him. But because he is a, a, a miracle worker, he was sent to perform miracles, signs and wonders. Even death could not hold him. I don't know if you are, you are you, the way I understand this scripture is the same way you understand it. Because to me, it's like there's nothing and nothing that can bring a child of God down. Because Jesus is there as a real life. Death could not hold this man on the ground. They thought this is the end of the man Jesus. Then God Almighty in heaven said, no, this is the beginning. This man, you don't know him, is miracle. His life is miracle. Everything about him is what? Miracle. The history of the Bible is good. But if we depend on this history, your future is questionable. You may not understand the name Jesus and his purpose. 
You can read the Bible. At the end of the day, you are consulting which doctors. Not until you know the meaning of the name Jesus. He was given to you as a tool, the instrument for your life. So that nothing can fight you and defeat you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is the name Jesus. He was, you know, killed. The Bible says that through the help of what? Evil or wicked, in other words. It is not everyone who is good to you. The evil nature is always working against the will of God in our lives. But the life of Jesus is always working against the kingdom of darkness 24-7. Are you there, people of God? Do you understand the name Jesus? The only problem which is there is that as long as your account is not active, the name Jesus cannot operate. It's like you don't know the pin of that account. You need to know the pin. Hallelujah. Evil people who team up to bring you down. But with Jesus inside you, no one can pin you down on the ground. That is the purpose of Jesus if you don't know. They can team up. Tiba sankanya manga. Tiba sankanya ma powers. Tiba tolo look at you. You know look at you? Do you know look at you? Tamaishu wa look at you. Face waka mitolio look at you. Lo mkalwishu. Firanga mwanyanta pa mshirelo endo shi asenda puenshi. Iloba. They can do that. But with Jesus inside you. It's like they have done nothing to your life. Because Jesus is miracle. His name is signs and wonders. This is why people will start asking questions in the near future. Is this the person that we know? We used to hear about this Jennifer. We used to hear about this Joseph. Is this the same Joseph? Yes, he's the one. But how come? The name Jesus. What is impossible with your capacity and your ability will be possible with the name Jesus. If you don't know this, you better know now. There is no need, even without fasting, because sometimes you people you think when you fast, that's when you become powerful. It is Jesus who can lead you to fasting. Not your thinking. You can fast and fast as long as Jesus did not lead you to that fasting. You get nothing. Only houses. Stomach pain. Nalareka fiyo kufast. Ande chitanga nafunga mo. Ya nafungu la mara mule kalipa. Kaili mule nikumubidi. Jesus ingaba mo. Nishi muli kuisa. Upash. Look at this example of this man. The apostle. The spirit of God ministered to him to say, can you learn to that man who is reading the book of Isaiah? Go and listen to what he is saying. Even the person who is very close, you don't know his mind or her mind. But the spirit of God knows your mind. That is Jesus for you. Jesus is not a toy. That you can use, hey, hey, wake up, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just one word. And your heart is linked up with him. 
you see signs and wonders. You see breakthrough. You see the increase. You see the growth of your ministry. You see the growth of your business. You see the, you know, the way you are going to recover. People will be asking, Muti nishumwale gonfia, ah, tapali na, na nunefe pana do, so kufuma para penefe, na pepele fielo, eh, but nishin waka, nini waka ili chita tekele cheso for two hours. Mutu wenga wapiti ya face at you, tu waleta maleri ya face inuwe kwenishi. Pana do. Ah, are you sure? Yes. Why? Jesus is the gift to all of us. The gift of life is Jesus. If you go to church, just because you are a member of that church and you don't know how to use the name Jesus, I pity you. Because even a small boy with evil power will start, you know, praying with your life. You can beat that child physically, but spiritually the child will promise you a time. I would just say, okay. If I'm going to be able to do it, I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, come on. 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 Why? Because you don't know that Jesus is your instrument to fight any battle. That is miracle. Immediately watch that you understand the name Jesus. That is miracle. So let me end there because of time. Thank you. God bless you. Mm -hmm.